brought to you by the good times and the great taste of McDonald's. One time is proudly brought to you by McDonald's Family Restaurant. For a special surprise, please welcome tonight's guest compare from Neighbours Craig McLaughlin. I paid to applaud and clap. Great. Listen, I'll fix you up afterwards. That was great. <laughs> great to be here. Gang, how are you? Good. Good. Thanks, Thanks for having me back. Gee, you're a game lot. You really <laughs> are a game <laughs> lot. What? Can't believe it. You this is great. Like... Tonight's show, tonight's show is going to be something else. I... In fact, it's so good, I really don't want to give too much of it away. But we've got, of course, another edition of Australia's new talent time. We have. We have. We have. And tonight, the contestant From Tasmania. Is... Yes. Where? But we also have a very special fractured fairy tale. It's going to change the way you think of nursery rhymes and tales forever. And I think, no, I won't give it away, but I think there's a star in there somewhere in the fractured fairy tale. Okay, but before we go any further, listen, the last time I was here, I didn't get to sing. You didn't get oh, to sing. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank okay, thanks for that. Oh my God. All right, all right. But tonight, for your pleasure and enjoyment, I'm going to sing with you. Is that right in the reprise? No. 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 Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. thanks. Okay. Well, thank you. Oh. Thank you. 
I just come into, I'm from the demolition company, all right? And I say this old house, <laughs> flat as a tank. Before I knock it down, how dare you? We should be in the pound, dog, in the pound. We're going to go to a break, we'll be right back. Have a go with some music, eh? Fantastic whistle. Thank you very much. I don't get applauded like that even by my own family. Now listen, we've got our new talent time. A quest reaching right across Australia with each state competing against each other. Now the winning state will receive a grand final prize of $5,000 from McDonald's and the chance for each contestant to become part of our Young Achievers Award for a trip for two anywhere around the world by Qantas and $2,000 spending money. Now, our judges are Ronnie Byrne and Anna Walters. Okay, yeah. And our competing state tonight is none other than Tasmania. Thanks for making the trek up here for this. This is great. Now, there's a spokesperson I have to ask for. Here she is right here. Shelly, isn't it? Yep. Shelly, do you want to fill me in and fill everybody in on what exactly you guys are going to do for us tonight? Sure will. Um, our first contestant, Stephen Yoss, and he's a singer. Great. And great. our second contestant's Michelle Howe, and she's a dancer. Hello, Michelle. She's great. Terrific. And our third contestant's Rob... Pregnant, and he's fantastic. Too. Rob, Rob the drummer, Rob with the sticks. Great. Okay. Will you guys give it your best shot, okay? And all the very best of luck. We might just stand back and let them do their thing, eh? Okay. Terrific. Good luck, guys. <laughs>
talented. Amazing. I'm sort of glad I'm not a judge in a way because, wow, it must be so hard to hard. sort of... It is, you know, yeah. It is. And keeping in mind, too, that last week New South Wales got a score of 88, was it? That's yep. right. Yeah. Sure was. That's right. Very high score. Well, seeing I'm not a judge, guys, I'll leave it in your <laughs> capable hands, actually. Thanks, mate. You're doing a great job. Well, first of all, Stephen, you're obviously a very sensitive person. It comes through in your singing. But if you could try and control your facial expressions a little bit, it can be distracting. But you've got a great voice. Actually, you sound a little bit like Gene Pitney. So just be yourself, be natural. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> fantastic. Michelle, we both feel you've achieved a beautiful classical style, good stretch, really nice fingers, and a nice bit of variety in the middle there. You've got a very supple body, and I would like to see you work a little bit more on that part of your act and make it a little bit more entertain, uh, entertainment value, but most enjoyable. Great. And Rob, well, I loved it, Rob. I thought it was just going to be another drum solo, but you had a lot of showmanship but just work on that technique, get it all together, and I think it'd be fantastic. Yes. Great. <laughs> and our group score. Would you like to know? Yes, I would like to know. From the Apple. All the kids tonight were from Hobart, by the way. Oh, all right. came out of Hobart. The group score from the Apple Isle is 75. 75 points. Well done. Well done. Woo. Great stuff. We're going to be right back after this break. Give them a big round of applause, come on! Those guys are great! Okay, welcome back. Kids, I'm just wondering, um, what your favourite fairy tale is? You got a favourite, you got a favourite fairy tale? Favourite one? Yes. Oh, you have. What's your favourite? Why, why did um, the monkey go to the elephant? Oh, I can't remember reading that one. It's probably in little golden books, is it? I don't know. Do you want to tell me the answer to that anyway? Because um, he wanted to get to his house. Because <laughs> he wanted to get to his... Now I remember that book, yeah. Has anyone got a favourite... You've got a favourite fairy tale? Story? You've got one. Yeah, what's your favourite story? Cinderella, that's an interesting. Anyone else got a favourite? Yeah? I have. Oh, you like that one. I well, guys, I've got another one. You've got another fairy tale. Do you want to tell me what your favourite fairy tale is again? It's not a joke, is it? It's a fairy tale. It's a joke, isn't it? Well, look, I'll tell you what, I've got a favourite. I've got a favourite fairy tale that I want to tell you about, but it's a little different than you may think. There's a few changes in it. Let, let me just read it to you. Guys, look, you're going to love this. Fair dinkum, all right? This is really my favourite. You ready? Who's sneaking looks at the pictures? Come on, I haven't shown you the pictures yet. You ready? Once upon a time, there lived a little girl. Her name was Cinderella. Man, was she poor. She was just so poor, she couldn't even afford compliments. She had, she had no nice shoes, not even a pretty dress. All she had was rags to wear, which her bad, bad, awful, awful sisters gave her.
not allowed to go there. Don't be so silly, you've got nothing to wear. Your clothes rat. What proof to dare marry you? When with the same effort, he could have us two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, Mark home. I'll hide in the corner. Now please, Jerry, go and do your chores and I'll hear this no further. Now oh, come on, sister. We are out to have some fun. Look out, Princey, cause here we come. Oh, we know wallflower on the window shelf. Cause we're sisters and we're doing it for ourselves. <laughs> Nobody here, not even a mouse. Oh, I shouldn't scream. He's actually quite cute. No big monster. He's no brute. He's actually quite homely. I think I'll call him Little Joey. Oh, but if only I could go to the ball, I'd be no trouble, no trouble at all. I'd eat so little, so little they wouldn't miss. Oh, if only someone could grant me that wish. who was far more handsome than any other. He was bright and fair, handsome and cute, and everyone loved him, mainly because he had a lot of loot. He was wise for his age, clever but carefree. He was otherwise known as the charming Prince Henry. Dad, are you trying to tell me of all the women here, I have to marry one of them? I know some that they look like prize hens. <laughs> But I'm sure if you're thorough, you'll find the one that you're after. Just then, magic happened for our fella. 
He looked around and entered Cinderella. They danced and talked the whole night through. Just when it seemed all too good to be true, the bell times rang again and again, and suddenly Cinderella knew it was about to end. She ran from the room, not even a whisper. But you guessed it, she left a glass slipper. No worries, son, she's left a clue. <laughs> good one, Daddy-o. Don't suppose you got some glue? Stop! Oh, what's that effect? No need to worry, Princey boy. Funky Fairy Godmother is here to fix the day. I'll bring back your princess bright and clean, and you can marry her and make her mean. What? It rhymed. That's round, sir. You two wouldn't like to sing Send in the Clowns? No. Uh, puff! Or words to that effect. Uh huh. I knew I'd do my part. All you need is a little love in your heart. in all very good fairy tales, they lived happily ever after. Oh, what's that effect? <laughs> this one really does need to be fixed. down and I was just putting it back. Ah, funny, funny, funny. 
Well, here's my favourite part, Craig's Comedy Corner. What's your name, sweetie? Shannon Forward. Shannon. Shannon, have you got a joke for Uncle Craig? Yes. What's that joke? Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road? For his own foul reason. For his own foul reason! <laughs> okay, okay, we've got some more. We've got a joke for me, haven't you? What's your joke? What did, why did the bald man stick his head out of the window? Why did the bald man stick his head out the window? I don't know. Why did he do that? To get some fresh air. <laughs> okay. That's very good. We've got one more right here. Why did the elephant cross the road? Why did the elephant cross the road? I don't know. Why did the elephant cross the road? Because it was a chicken's day off. <laughs> Well, well, Danielle, they sort of came with my face. Uh, uh, your colours help your eyesight? <laughs> Indeed they do, Danny. They, they do help your eyesight. Um, well, why can't I see when they put them on? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm still laughing over the guy with fresh hair. OK, we've got some more gags right here. Young man, have you got a joke for Uncle Craig? Yes. What is your joke? Why do you have to be quiet at night in the chemist? Why do you have to... I don't know, why do you have to be quiet? To be careful you don't wake up the sleeping pills. <laughs> the sleeping pills, that's great. Have you got one for me, sweetie? What's your name? Andy. What's your joke? Why did the dinosaur cross the road? <laughs> We've had elephant... Why did the dinosaur cross the road? Because chickens weren't invented then. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And we've got one more somewhere behind me right here. How are you, young man? Good. You got a joke for Uncle Craig? Yes. What's your joke? Is it not the one about the Irish paper shop that blew away? It's not that one? What hurts more than a giraffe with a sore throat? What hurts more than... I don't know. What, what does hurt more? A centipede with sore feet. See, it's because you two guys are with me and the applause stops. Did yeah, you notice well, that? Can't yeah, win no. my life. <laughs> Is it? Just before we go any further, there's just a little important thing I'd like to just mention to you. Now, belt your kids. Not as in, get out of it, you <laughs> Belt your kids is something that the Australian JCs are doing at the moment. It's sort of a campaign to get this? people into the swing of to belt seat your kids. Belt your kids. Okay, as opposed to... Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's something to remember. Can we see that? Yeah. So belt your kids. When you throw them in the car, after you've belted them, <laughs> belt your kids. No, just kidding. Are we all having a good time? Yeah! yeah. So are you guys having a good time? I am. Well, that's not are really you enthusiastic. Well, of course ones? I always have a good time. How good? And without further ado, let's talk about the good times we had.
Kong. Okay, before I say anything, can you see this down here? I reckon this <laughs> is the best dressed studio audience member here tonight. And for that very reason, you little tiger, <laughs> we're going to give you this big prezi. Can I squeeze that down there and fit that down there with the microphone. you? Microphone. Yes, I can. And you can sing into that. You can even sing like Uncle Craig. <laughs> fluffy, fluffy drops hey, coming yeah. up. <laughs> Well, guys, thanks for having me again. I had a lot of fun tonight. Yeah, it was hard, but it's... <laughs> what do you mean? Hard work or hard putting up with me? Yeah, hard putting up with you, too. You little cunt. First of all, I'd just like to thank the Quest contestants tonight. Steve Yost, fantastic stuff. Michelle Howe, Rob Pregnall, and, of course, their lovely spokesperson, Shelley Nichols. Thanks for being with us. Big clap. Now, there's something I had to mention. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys. That's us. Without me, are at Dream World tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. All right. Can I? Why is it you get. No, no, I'll talk to you about it later. <laughs> Hope you had a good time tonight. I might even see you real soon. Yeah. 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 You can sing for me, Craig. Yeah. No, everyone. Oh, sorry, Justin. Cotton in the ears, everybody. <laughs>